A crisis has unfolded in western North Carolina as officials race to deliver supplies to flood-stricken areas left without power and cellular service after Hurricane Helene devastated the U.S. Southeast. The death toll from the storm has reached at least 94, with 30 deaths reported in Asheville, North Carolina. Governor Roy Cooper warned the toll could rise as rescuers access isolated areas cut off by collapsed roads and flooding. Asheville's water system was heavily damaged, forcing residents to gather water from creeks. Supplies are being airlifted into the area, and local officials pledge to deliver essential resources. Search and rescue teams are working tirelessly, saving dozens of people stranded in the storm's aftermath. Hurricane Helene hit Florida as a Category 4 storm before moving through Georgia, the Carolinas, and Tennessee, causing torrential rains and massive flooding. The storm also caused power outages affecting more than 2 million people across multiple states. Federal agencies, including FEMA, are working to support recovery efforts. President Joe Biden has pledged federal aid and plans to visit the affected regions. With roads blocked and infrastructure damaged, officials warn the rebuilding process will be long and difficult as they continue to assess the full impact of the storm.